Next topic is fair trade and fair trade products. And what fair trade means, the definition is that the farmers that are producing that commodity are receiving a fair wage for their work uh, through higher prices. In the United States, fair trade products are available in 16 national retailers, including Sam's Club, Kroger, and Whole Foods markets as well as a number of smaller areas as well. Underlying question, when we take a look at fair trade, is where does the initial money go for every pound of coffee? For example, when you, when you buy a cup of coffee at Starbucks for $3, where does that money go? And the fixed rate for the pounds, uh, again, the, the farmers in, in uh, developing countries may get uh, 50 cents for a pound. Um, and of course, then sold retail for eight or nine dollars. And for example, there's some com coffee companies that will take advantage of that, say they're free trade, and mark up uh, excessively the price much more than what they paid uh, in in that. What I want to show now is a short uh, trailer from uh, a documentary on coffee, which takes a look at the issues related to saying. Of that three dollars a cup of coffee, where does it go? And takes a look at uh, some of the um, uh, the women sorting the, the coffee and the brokers with that. So we'll take a look at that short little trailer, and we'll be back in a minute. coffee from this area goes to the western world for consumption. There is no coffee which is as quality as this coffee, but we are getting very low price. Last year, the notional value of all of the coffee contracts that was traded is about $140 billion. The workers here are getting less than half a dollar a day. Ethiopian. Ethiopian. We must take the power back from these few people who go into the green room and manipulate the rest of us. Trade is more important to us than aid. And as Ken saw from that trailer, the, the key aspect is that these developing countries don't want aid, they want trade. And the idea is they want to be, just be paid fairly. But from a business perspective, it makes good financial sense to focus on fair trade in that you can establish long-term relationships with these farmers. They can, if you pay them a fair wage, then they can replant their coffee crops for next year, you can guarantee a, a relationship with them. And this is what, for example, Starbucks tries to do is, is develop these long-term relationships so it guarantees the supply of coffee and that it isn't just an extra cost for them, but it is part of the negotiation, part of the partnership agreement between the farmers and the uh, retailers. Next issue is non-government organization partnerships. And what the idea here is there's a number of companies that are involved in specific uh, activities that are in part related to their business, but also help others. For example, uh, MAP International has uh, the idea of looking at banking and focusing on helping people get bank accounts. One of the critical issues for developing countries is that the people they have very limited access to money, but when they do have a limited access to money, they don't put it in a bank. They don't have a traditional uh, banking account. And so one of the aspects is to actually have 
um, access to these bank accounts, have them f understand the value of having bank accounts, understanding the value of interest, and those kinds of factors as well. Uh, Cadbury developed a co co uh, Cadbury relationship uh, with their partners in different countries in Africa, Asia, and Caribbean, and uh, having a sustainability farming going back in part to this fair trade issue. And that Cadbury realized that for them to continue to have, be a major chocolate manufacturer, they have to have high, uh, the cocoa beans have to be high quality, they have to guarantee that supply. So therefore having these partnerships with these farmers that produce the cocoa beans gives them the opportunity to establish these long term partnerships and as you can see there are a hundred different cocoa farming communities and with that looking at issues such as child labor, uh, health, uh, gender diversity and environmental sustainability. Uh, SAM Miller which is a beer company, Miller Beer, uh, developed looking at barley. Again part of that is a self-interest, of course barley a major uh, component of beer uh, but also looking at sustainability and having Again, having a guaranteed supply of barley in developing countries so that Miller does not have to be concerned about unpredictability of supply. And again, establishing these relationships and with, with the farmers as well. And Thompson's Reuter, an information uh, company uh, that was traditionally a newspaper company that moved on to uh, selling information, helping farmers with giving them information on how on yields, uh, looking at market efficiencies and increased incomes, and even things such as giving them uh, rain forecasts and, f and weather forecasts were critical factors that they did not have access to what, what Thomson Reuters had uh, access to. I'll take a short break and I'll be back in a minute.